Greetings, I'm DK Rostar. Welcome back to the TTT News. With change being the only constant, some organizations are choosing to either get with the program or risk falling way behind in the shadow of progress. It is time to go in-depth on energy conservation and renewable energy with TNTech Chief Technical Officer Chris Olson bell and Corporate Communications Manager Annabel Brasnell. And welcome. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Bell and Ms. Brasnell. Mr. Bell, I want to ask you, though, topic of renewable energy is a hot-button topic right now, especially solar is garnering a lot of public attention. TNTech is the country's provider of electricity. What is your stance on renewable energy? Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon to all viewers. TNTech recognizes that solar energy will be one of the predominant sources of, of energy for the future especially in Trinidad, while there are other forms of, of renewable energy like wind and, and, and water, solar will dominate, solar will dominate the market for the future. So TNTech embraces that, TNTech in keeping with the, the national goals for reducing carbon emissions and stuff. Carbon emission recognizes that we, we will be part of that. So we are on board as far as solar energy and using solar to help achieve those goals. Thank you so much for that. And Ms. Brasnell, is one thing to say, okay, well, this is better. But in terms of actually answering the person who says, what is it, what's, what's in it for me? How do you answer that person? What are some of the advantages of renewable energy? Well, thank you very much, uh, DK, for having us. The, there are advantages for renewable energy for the country uh, on a whole in terms of the reduction in the use of natural gas, the valuable natural gas that the country can use and monetize elsewhere. So once TN Tech uh, is, brings renewable energy onto the grid, and you would be aware that there is currently a joint project uh, that, is, that, the, uh, that is on the way between uh, BP and Shell, that is a utility scale project that would allow renewable energy to get onto the grid and TNTF will sell that to our customers. Therefore, the country has some benefit. Uh, there are other considerations for individuals well, if they want to use uh, renewable energy in terms of uh, safety and logistics and capital and infrastructure that will have to be considered before individuals uh, try to utilize renewables. I right, know there, there needs to be work that happens before this takes hold in the main, but even before that infrastructure is put into place and uh, we say, okay, well, yes, we can lean even more heavily on renewable energy, Ms. Brasnell. What are some of those things that people can do to manage their electricity bills as they obtain now? So you are right, DK, the issue of managing your electricity bill uh, from a renewable perspective, and you made the point about persons being attracted by the idea of renewables because it is perceived to be cheaper, uh, but there are capital and investment costs that you would have to consider before renewables. Before you even get to that point, there are things that you can do on your own to manage your bill. There are things that the government has done to assist people in terms of managing their bills. So the government in uh, two years ago would have introduced a 25% bill rebate program for persons who keep their consumption under a certain level. And in January of 2022, so this month actually, that was increased to a 35% rebate. So persons who can keep their bills $300 and under get a 35% rebate on their bill. Uh, we also have, and by the way, I mean TNTech, we also have an energy management application. It's a suite of tools that are available on our website to customers that can allow them to, to manage their consumption uh, holistically. With this energy management application tools, you can track your bill history. The first thing to remember is in order to reduce your consumption, you of course have to know how much you're using. 
And therefore, if you track your, your usage, either from a daily perspective, from a bi-monthly perspective, annual, and we actually give customers their usage in terms of the dollar value as well as the kilowatt hours. Once you know how much you're using, then you can set a goal. We assist you with setting that goal where you actually, the, the application allows you to set a target for your consumption, either in dollar value or in kilowatt hours. That's the energy used. And we will assist you by holding your hand and sending you an email when you get to particular points in your billing cycle. So if you're getting close to your 50% range, we will send you a notification. If you pass 50%, if you're getting close to the end, and when you pass your goal, uh, in terms of exceeding your consumption, we will also send you uh, a notification so that you could get that under control. Also in this application is our energy calculator, which allows you to plug in the different appliances that you own. And you can see the approximate consumption of those appliances so that you know which one of your appliances contributes the, more, the most to your electricity bill. All of these things taken together can help individuals to manage their bills and to reduce their consumption. And this is very exciting stuff. And for somebody who's looking at this and saying, okay, well, 35% rebate, uh, being able to monitor so that I can manage, where do they get this information in terms of those incremental steps? Website, uh, social media pages, how do they find that information from TNT? The easiest place to go is our website, uh, which is ttec.co.tt. And on the homepage, there is a link that says energy management. You click on that link and it walks you through. You do have to register for our customer web access portal. And once you log into that portal, this is a portal that gives you control of your entire account. Uh, in addition to all the um, manage energy management tools, you can also sign up there to receive your bills electronically. So it's a one-stop shop for a number of things in terms of managing your bill. Great, thank you so much. Mr. Bell, I'm not leaving you out of the conversation. Do exit me. I'm wondering, though, are there any barriers or challenges that would impede citizens being able to use renewable energy for their homes now? Um, for now, we, if they are using solar energy, it would have to be standalone systems because at this point in time, by law, we are not allowed to, to use grid tie where they put it onto the system and ties it into the TNTEC system, right? So until such law is finalized, for now, people will be only to will be able to use standalone system, but they will have to remember that when they do such installations, they will have to get the, the government electrical inspectorate involved so that the electrical wiring in the installation can be checked to make sure that it is safe. And definitely that is something I want to uh, continue speaking with you about on the other side of the conversation, but stay with us. We are speaking with Chris Alston Bell and Annabelle Brasnell of T and Tech, and we continue the conversation when we return. Stay with us. Using TNTEC's energy management application is simple. Once you have registered for the customer web access portal, this application is available for residential and commercial customers. It is personalized with your data and allows you to set targets for electricity usage, track your historical patterns, manage your account and pay bills. Once logged in, select your account. Go to Energy Conservation and click on Historical Data. This page shows a graphical representation of your energy usage, cost and environmental impact. Toggle from cost, usage, and greenhouse gas emissions to see the graph. Click on the information icons at any time for more details. To set a usage goal, either by dollar value or energy used, click on the link and move the slider or type in the value. To help, we've provided your average, highest, and lowest bills over the last 24 months and the level you must maintain to receive an automatic rebate on your bill. To help you stay on track, we can send you a notification when you're approaching your goal. The energy calculator will help you to estimate your cost based on the approximate amount of electricity you use. To start you off, 
Based on your historical use, we have assumed what appliances you may have and pre-filled some information. Click on any segment of the pie chart and make changes as needed. Because kilowatt hours, the amount of electricity used over time is used to calculate your bill, we give your estimated kilowatt hours. You will need to target your kilowatt hours in order to lower your bill. Go to the My Account link on this website and click on Register to get started. A great deal of information from the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission. Welcome back to In Depth with me, DK Rosta, where we are speaking with the Chief Technical Officer, Chris Olson Bell, and the Corporate Communications Manager, Annabel Brasnell. And Ms. Brasnell, I think if there's at least one person who is going to be joining or to making use, taking advantage of that app today, it will be me when I get home in terms of like saying, okay, well, this is something that definitely we want to uh, work towards my house and mine. But in terms of those advantages of conserving electricity, Ms. Brasnell, I want you to uh, expound on them a little more, please. Yes, I know on the, other, on the other side of the conversation, you spoke about that rebate. But in terms of conserving electricity, what's in it for me? What's in it for the, the person on the street? What do you tell them? So, DK, if I can just say for your plans tonight when you go home to check your, your consumption, uh, just as an example, an anecdote from a customer who indicated that what she did with her family was they, they set a challenge and they didn't even bother to set a goal to, to do the notifications. They went in on a daily basis and looked at their consumption. And when they saw those bars, that graphical representation, they said, okay, this is what we use today, tomorrow, this is what we're going to do. And so she and her kids would have set goals in terms of reducing the use of the AC, turning off lights, um, adjusting the use of the television, using the fan, watching how you use your, your dryer when you're drying clothes, uh, turning off your water heater if you have the ability to turn off your, heater, your water heater, uh, even turning off your water pump if you have the ability to do that. Uh, checking for leaks as well in your taps is also important because once you have a leak and you have a pump, every time that water drips, it kicks in your pump, which uses your electricity. So those are little things that people could do. And essentially what it does, it comes down to the bottom line. Everybody wants to have a lower electricity bill. And so on the one hand, the government and TNTEC are assisting with these tools and with the rebate. But what is required is that customers would need to change their habits. Uh, in 2020, there, there was the program to uh, distribute LED bulbs to customers to get persons started on that route where you can see the changes and then you take the incremental steps because it does require behavior change. And I know we're going into, dry, into the dry season and people are going to say, but I need my AC. Maybe you can open the window and turn on the fan instead. And those little behavior changes are what are going to help you in terms of realizing that bottom line because for Everybody, it comes down to, I want to see a lower bill at the end of that two-month period. When, when TNTEC installs a, a system, an electrical system, one of the primary functions we have to make sure is safety, right? That it is safe because, as you know, electrical energy and person contact can, can have serious damage to, to human beings and stuff. So when you go to that form and, and use renewables and stuff, one of the things you would want to make sure is that the system is, is safe. So if you're doing the standalone, as we said, and it is you have a, a solar panel connected to some device that is not connected to the TNTEC system, that is why I was mentioning earlier, you need to get the government electrical inspectorate to just to make sure that the wiring and stuff is safe so that you and your family, family members in your household will also be safe. If it is that the one that I was speaking about, the great tie, which is not legal now, People have to remember, if it is they take a chance and they, they were to use the system and tie it into the TNTEC network, when the TNTEC safety device operates for a fault on the system that is supplying their house, that solar panel that they have has the potential to feed back into the, the TNTEC grid and energize our network. And if, like for, for example, our network has a burst conductor that is on the ground, because your, your, your installation may not have the necessary safety requirements, 
it could continue to feed into that and result in anybody touching it on the outside being injured. So that is why we are saying at this time, people should discontinue the use of, of that solar mechanism being tied to the grid, right? Another thing that people have to be mindful of is that before you install any solar installation, whether it be standalone or whether it be grid tie, you need to get a, a license through the, the Ministry of Public Utilities. And one of the requirements here is TNTEC will have to, to review the, 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 the installation and so just to confirm that from our end, that things are safe enough and we will make the recommendation to the, to the Ministry of Public Utilities. As it relates to how, how can it help you conserve on energy? Well, solar will have a price, right? But because solar energy is, is directly from the sun and things, Again, if you continue to use some of the, the conservative measures that Mrs. Brasnell would have spoken about, you will find that it can help more so from a, a national level. You can help to achieve the program with the carbon emission and you can contribute. You can contribute also to the society. So that rooftop solar will bring those kind of benefits in terms of the actual reduction, in terms of the cost, direct cost to the person, that will be better answered when we get a, a good idea as to what will be the true cost of the solar type installation and, and so. And on that note, that is, that is a conversation that we want to have when you're able to dive a little more fulsomely into it. So we want to thank you very much, Chris Olson Bell, Chief Technical Officer, as well as Annabelle Brasnell, Corporate Communications Manager of t and Tech. It's never, it's never easy to be able to condense all of this into a conversation like this, but we hope to have you on again sooner rather than later. And on behalf of the entire TTT News team, this has been In Depth with me, DK Roster. Thank you for joining us.